Today's Cowboys report is made possible by 8 Sleep. Get $200 off the Pod 3 cover and boost your sleep by going to 8sleep.com slash chat sports. Now, today's show, it is the Cowboys' perfect, air quotes on perfect free agency. Basically, even with some self-imposed limits from Dallas, this is what the Cowboys could do or something similar to it if they cared. If they cared the way that I and so many of you do. So first off, who do you want as GM? The Jones boys, type in JB. You want me in there? Type in TD. I guarantee you, you give me 10 years, I would win a championship. I promise you. That's the low bar I would set for myself. JB or TD in the comments section. Now, to get this started, Cowboys are about $10 million over the cap. I have to do something here to make that cap space happen. Step number one, I'm going to assume Van Der Esch retires. I will let him keep some of the money that he was owed base salary-wise. Thanks for your service. like a million dollars. It doesn't matter. 2.5. I can get up to $21 million by adjusting Dak's deal. Maybe it's a little bit less. That's fine. I'm going to restructure Zach Martin. Easy peasy. Restructure Trayvon Diggs. $8 million. And I will eventually get 9.5 from Michael Gallup post-June 1st. And that will pay for my draft class and even summer over money. So in total cap space, not just the money I saved, but cap space, I've got $35 million available. I did not touch Terrence Steele's contract. I did not maximize myself from doing the proper way to go about Dak Prescott's stuff, if I believe in him. I did not even extend C.D. Lamb, which could have saved me an extra $12 million more. Because at this point, we're less than a week away from free agency. We're days away. It's just not going to happen with Dak and Lamb at this point. They haven't even talked to Dak yet, which is insanity to me, if we believe the reports out there. So let's get some players in here. Step number two, I'm going to sign at least one affordable linebacker. And I'm going to cap myself off at a little over $5 million per year, which might not be the cap hit number, but I digress. Five names that I like the most. Eric Kendricks with the obvious Mike Zimmer ties. I would love Aziz Alshair. He stops the run. You need that right now. He's not the best coverage guy. Why he'll be affordable. Josie Jewell is pretty consistently around the football. Heard some good buzz about Jordan Brooks as well. I think Frankie Luvo, probably a bit too expensive, but is the exact type of linebacker that Mike Zimmer would love to have because he can blitz and stop the run. And that's what Dallas is searching for to pair with Overshone slash Clark and the rest of this defense. So when it comes to free agency, somewhat realistic names, who are we sending the energy for this offseason? What player or even players? It's the pinned comment on today's video. So if the ad comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know. Step number three, I'm going to assign a strong value running back, meaning I'm not going to break the bank for Derrick Henry or Josh Jacobs or Saquon Barkley, but I will get a running back who can be a starter for me and shouldn't cost less than $5 million for one year. That could be Tony Pollard bringing him back. That could be Devin Singletary. That could be James Conner. That could be Zach Moss, the Gus Bus, or any of the lengthy list of free agent backs that are available. I can pursue that route and feel pretty happy about it. I think between those two moves of my, you know, 35 million, I should still have 25 plus million bucks available. Step four, I'm going to retain Jonathan Hankins. You know, I I think he is a good run-stopping defensive tackle, and I need more of those, not less of them. He, again, should be no more than two or three million dollars in the open market in free agency. Uh, He's from Dallas, probably didn't want to move, and if I can't get him, I'll sign another cheap run-stopping DT. But do make note, I am not done at defensive tackle because I still need more help. Now, 8Sleep, the sponsor of today's show, is the high-tech solution to your age-old sleeping issues. The 8Sleep Pod 3 cover slips right over your mattress, bringing heating and cooling technology that keeps you comfortable and sleeping deeper for a better, more restful night. The 8Sleep Pod cover will improve your sleep by adjusting your bed's temperature based on your individual needs. The cover is added to any bed like a fitted sheet is and allows you and your partner to cool or warm your side of the bed as low as 55 degrees or up to 110 degrees. There is no better way to improve your day-to-day life than better sleep. An 8 Sleeps Pod 3 cover is the easiest way to make that happen. 
In addition to keeping you the perfect temperature all night long, the pod also tracks your sleep and health metrics. On average, pod users see their sleep quality improve by 32% after just a month on the pod. So go to 8sleep.com slash chat sports to get $200 off plus free shipping on the pod cover by 8sleep. Link will be in the comments section and the description of today's show. Step number five, I am going to go out and sign Danico Autry. I think this is an impact defensive piece who can play defensive tackle or defensive end, can do a little bit of both, can stop the run, can get some pressure. It's the exact type of additional defensive lineman this Dallas Cowboys team needs right now. Listen, it's 6'5", 285. You don't really have that body type right now on your roster. Now, because Danico Autry turns 34 this year, I don't think he'll be that expensive. So maybe his year one cap it again comes in around $5 million. Maybe that's about the rough range we're looking at here in terms of the cap. It gets a little bit more per year on like a two-year deal. He's been productive everywhere he's gone and hasn't shown that many signs of slowing down. I would love to get Autry in Dallas. Step number six, I'm going to sign Stefan Gilmore. I don't think he's going to be that expensive. I think maybe at this point we're talking in the 6 to $7 million price tag range, uh, kind of the maximum side, so to speak. Gilmore, I think, fits the Mike Zimmer defense. He has lost a step, and that's why maybe 6 or 7 is actually a bit of an overpay, but it's fine. His football IQ, which is incredibly high, fits well with what Mike Zimmer wants to do. By bringing back Gilmore, I've solidified my cornerback room. What do you think is the single biggest need right now for the Dallas Cowboys? Linebacker, running back, offensive tackle? Sound off in the comments. Mitch Morse is next up here at center. I, I, the Cowboys might elect to just ride with Brock Hoffman as the you know, non-draft pick center option, and that's fine, but I would like to bring in some more veteran help because I don't want to... They said the exact, they, they clearly like Hoffman. That has been leaked enough from the organization. They felt the exact same way last year about Matt Farniak, and then he was so bad he got cut. So I want a little bit of, of extra veteran depth there. He'd be a couple million dollars, three or four, somewhere in that range. Um, and I think is a good, cheap depth option. Step number eight I need to find something else along the left side of the offensive line. I can't enter the draft, you know, with. My options are at, on the left side being some combo of Tyler Smith, TJ Bass, Awesome Richards, Brock Hoffman for three spots, and maybe mix in Matt. Well, let's go. I need something else there. Graham Glasgow could be a little bit more expensive, uh, but he could you know, find a way to emerge as a center or guard option if he's affordable. He's a bit older in age. Yosh Neiman, George Fant, Kendall Lamb also offer swing tackle capabilities. Sadiq Charles has played tackle and guard I think those guys maybe are in that three million dollar price tag range which by the way I have still not got to my 35 million dollar price tag yet and I can do a bunch of other vet minimum signings that actually don't impact my cap because they're vet minimums and I've already filled that up all the way now if and when they will do something the Cowboys make a free agency signing we will have a video for you so do not miss out hit that sub button right now Step number nine, speaking of vet minimum deals, I'm going to bring back Cedric Wilson on a, on a vet min. I actually, I, I, have, I did do this as the, uh, they got an idea, the idea of meme that I post, and I've yet to miss on one of those, by the way. Uh, Cedric Wilson as like the you know, receiver solution. I think it makes sense. It's a bad receiver market, so I'm not going to spend money there, uh, to be quite honest. But I, he can be your three or four. Special teams value, too. I mean, would you rather pay Cedric Wilson a million dollars or Michael Gallup $9 million? I think it's a no-brainer. Step 10. With my leftover money, which give or take is $5 million bucks right now, I'm going to steal a safety. This safety market is loaded. There are so many starting caliber players. Even though I don't think the Cowboys need a safety, I can get somebody cheap that I think could be good. You know, some notable names who I think would at least be safety three for you. 
most might be too expensive, but maybe one comes in cheap. These guys aren't all, they're not going to be 15 safeties that command five plus million dollars this offseason. There's no way. Justin Simmons, Jordan Whitehead, both Bills boys, Darnell Savage, Chauncey Gardner Johnson. You want some attitude on defense? You want a dog? Bring me Chauncey Gardner Johnson. He's a bit of a head case and he's a crazy person, but in kind of a good way as well. So bring me uh, Chauncey Gardner Johnson. He can play nickel as well. I would love to find a safety nickel hybrid. That's Chauncey Gardner Johnson. I always fall in love, love with the safety. He'll probably go back to Philadelphia and I'll lose my mind over it along with Justin Simmons and Eddie Jackson. But this, all of these moves are doable. Everything I just listed, maybe swap out some player names to make it more affordable. I can get all of those guys for the $35 million in cap space. I can create without doing anything of note. That's already built into these contracts. It's super easy. So grade my free agency plan. It is doable. It, it is very plausible. I don't know if they're going to do it. They're super cheap. But that's what I would do. So grade the plan. A, B, C, D, or F. 